Hi, this is Paolo from DMB Academy, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make basses like Kasra in the track Let It Slide. So this is the original version, and this is my recreation. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any of your future videos, and also to support the channel, because it helps us build more free resources for you. Also, if you want to get access to this preset and the project file, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with all of that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized sound in Serum, and this preset is fairly simple. It's just a bunch of sine waves at the right pitch with the right distortion. So for that, let's turn on the sub, let's load a sine wave on A and also on B. So right now our sound sounds like this. Just a very big sine wave. Let's turn off the random phase. And now let's look for a spot that doesn't cancel the sub. So let's turn off oscillator B. Here, as you can hear or see in this meter, oscillator A and the sub are canceling each other. So we gotta change the phase position. As you can see, around 90 is where we should put it. So now let's do that with oscillator B. Nice. Now let's add some noise. Bring it down. And now we're going to go into the effects. Turn on the distortion. Just like that. We're going to add some chorus. But we're going to change it into a high pass filter instead of a low pass filter. Like this. Now let's bring the mix a little bit lower. We're gonna add some reverb. Yeah, you heard right. We're gonna add some reverb on the sub. Let's increase the low cut. <laughs> and speaking about reverb on the sub, don't worry. This is just the main patch. You can always just cut everything on the lows and put your own sub in there. But in this case, we're gonna leave it as it is. And we're gonna modulate the gain of this band with an LFO, like that. But we gotta make this LFO slower. For example, something like two bars, and then create a shape that goes up and then down very quickly. So let's make a curve like this. Just like that. So we can have the movement, but we are lacking the harmonics. Let's just adjust something in this EQ real quick. Let's hold Shift and Alt and then click on the gain knob to switch the modulation to unipolar. Let's bring the amount down, just like that. And now let's change this into a peak. Bring the Q down. And now we can change the frequency. And as you can see, it can help us bring a certain frequency in the front of the sound. So now let's go back into the oscillator tab, and here's where the magic happens. We're going to use these two sine waves as two individual harmonics that are going to add into the distortion. So we're going to set oscillator A one octave off and seven semitones higher. And we're going to put oscillator B three octaves higher, but two semitones up. And so now we have a very distorted but harmonic sound. Now to add movement, we got to modulate the levels of these oscillators so they create an interesting texture when running through the distortion. So let's map phone number one into a level of oscillator B. Let's turn off oscillator A just for you to see how the sound changes as oscillator B gets introduced into the layers. So let's set this to trigger. There you go, that's half of the sound right there. So let's turn on oscillator A and let's modulate the level here. And here is where I highly recommend you to experiment with stuff. For example, how much of the sub should go through the distortion, how much of this oscillator should go. And this will change the texture. Also how much noise and also the mode of distortion, for example, is changed to a sine shaper. Let's add more sub. And as you can see, here is where you can get really creative and make this sound your own. 
Don't limit yourself into just making this sound. I encourage you to play with these key parameters. So the way that I left it was I used tube distortion with a lot of drive. And then I played a little bit with the LFO. Like that. I left oscillator A fairly low. Like that. And then now let's jump into some post-processing. Cool, so the first thing that we're gonna add is some trash. And here in trash, we're gonna activate the multiband mode. And I'm just gonna drive a little bit the sub, a lot of the mids, and completely blast the highs. Just like that. Cool. Now let's just simply add some EQ and accentuate certain frequencies, for example, around 420 or maybe 700 or 200 sounds good and now let's just add a saturator and turn on the soft clip so it just controls the peak and there you go now let's play this and also to add a bit of funk into the sound the original track introduces this sound after the kick hits so let's just mute everything and this will be the sound now with the kick let's introduce it later there you go and as i said you can go back into serum and play with everything that builds this sound for example let's add some unison into all of the oscillators that sounds crazy let's bring it down Play with the D tune a little bit. Let's also change the harmonics. Oh, that inspires me to, for example, make it even longer, make the MIDI longer, and maybe put this LFO into the pitch of the noise. Like that, and then make a pitch bend modulation from high to low. That'll be a cool variation for a second drop, for example. As you can see, you have a lot of possibilities, and I highly encourage you to break out of the normal preset and just make your own sounds however you want them. So, that's gonna be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.